Thank God for Jesus. I'm sure you have had your own thrills. You have had your own pleasures. But our Father has come. And we call him our Father. And Jesus said, it is my pleasure to do your will. And Jesus went to the cross. With single light devotion to the Father. In the Old Testament, every lamb said, Ba, 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 kurusete yanne, ba, me mi ni hake papi nisa, mama mokota da kurusete yanne. That's what the, what the lamb said. Lamb said, why must I go to the cross? God? Why must I die, God? This man sins and you are telling me to die. Unfair, God. God also says unfair. So, the new t so when Christ was going to slaughter, Isaiah 53, 8 says, he was silent. First ever time in history of sacrifice, someone went silently for sacrifice. No protest. It was Jesus' pleasure to do the Father's will. Because Hebrews 12 2 says, He endured the cross because He saw. Will you say with me? He saw. The joy is set before Him that He's going to become, he's going to become the elder brother of thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of brothers and sisters. Who will become like him. He the firstborn. We are the nextborn. From every tribe, tongue and nation. Did Jesus succeed? Yes. Because in every tribe, tongue and nation. In every spoken language. Jesus is worshipped. His word has been translated. The most translated book. And the most selling book in the whole world for many decades. You think this is a lie? You think this is a lie? You think this is American money? America doesn't even have money now. It must be true, isn't it? It must be true, isn't it? It must be true, isn't it? Yeah, it is true. But the best way to know him is to receive him. Receive God as our Father. Jesus Christ as our Savior. Our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Chosen. And also he says, not only chosen, Deuteronomy 7, 6, Lord your God has chosen you to be a people for himself. A special treasure. Above all the people on the face of the earth. Can you think about this? There are many great people on the earth. Alexander the Great, Idi Amin, Hitler, Richard Dawkins, Stephen Hawking, Putin, Obama, <coughs> Mahindra Rajapaksa. Many great people. Many great people. But the Bible says when you become his daughter, when you become his son, you are a special treasure. Above the all peoples on the face of the earth. You will see how can it be. Now there are a number of fathers here. Nimesh has two sons. Daniel and Samuel. Whom, whom do you love more? Both equally. Lilan has three. Whom do you love more? Equally, isn't it? Melanga has only one. I also have only one. I have two now because I have a daughter and a son who has married a daughter. Willem, you have three. Whom do you love more? All equally. God is infinite. So he can love every one of his children the same. Which we can't, isn't it? We can love two, three, Maybe four. Five. I think by the time the fifth one is coming, you are saying, mm, fifth one is also coming. But God takes everyone as his special treasure. Do you want to be his special treasure? You want to be his special treasure? This is a hard thing. Each of us wants to be somebody's treasure. So usually when you fall in love, 
the one you fall in love with, you say, Mage Sampat, Mage Vastu, what else? My Jim, my Ratra, he has got arrested again. That is the Kalutara Ratra, UNPMP has got arrested again. Why is that? Why is that? Every girl comes to that age and waits for that moment to be, for her to be swept off the feet. I will dance all night. I will dance all night. Yeah. But there's someone whose love never changes. He wants to call each one of us his special treasure. Precious treasure. Do you think God is a liar? Do you think God can do that to everyone? Man can do that to one wife. Woman can do that to one man. We are designed like that. Fidelity is one. Say it me. Fidelity is one. Fidelity is one. Again, fidelity is one. God designed us. But he is infinite. He is the author of fidelity. Is fidelity good? Or treason good? After all, we are molecules, isn't it? We are only molecules. If we are only molecules, plus chance, plus one billion years equals man. After all, we are molecules. So what is fidelity? What is treason? Just the same, we are molecules. Of course not. Of course not. When it matters to our heart, it matters very much. We treasure fidelity. Say with me, I treasure fidelity. And God treats every one of his children as a precious treasure. Are you rested tonight? Are you rested tonight? He treats each one of his children as a precious treasure. No variability. No shadow of shifting. He is the father of light. He doesn't change his mind according to our fickleness. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. If you find your husband unfaithful, Will you still love him? Unfair question. But God loves us unchanging. Will you say thank you, Father? Not enough thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Have you been severely tempted? Have you been severely tested? Was there a day you almost flipped, slipped? Felt unworthy? Felt naked? Wounded? Ashamed? Who covered it? Who came with the cloth? Who came with the cloth? Father came. Who came? Father. Did he say, I am shy to look at you? You wretched fellow, you did this? He didn't. You remember when Noah drunk, got drunk and fell naked? Ham went and told the other two brothers. But Shem and Japheth took a cloth and they they kept, uh, they walked in such a way and covered the father so that they would not see his nakedness. So when we got into shame, God told nobody, will you say thank you? That's not enough. Every one of us have been severely tempted. But God covered. Did he expose? No. The father covered. He took it on his chest and he said, I will allow nobody to see my son's shame but on the cross. When it came to his own son, he couldn't cover it. You remember Jesus? He died near naked, violated in every way. Whole universe should be saying unfair, unfair, unfair. But we have decided we will tell the wondrous story every day of our life that there was one son 
who died uncovered for a sin he did not commit. And the father couldn't cover him because he had to die like that. Therefore, we commit our life to tell everybody about that one son whom the father couldn't cover. That son might become our covering. All our shame went on him. All our pain went on him. All our thorns came on his brow. All our lashes he took and he covered us. Jesus stood between our sin and the stones. Jesus stood between our sin and the stripes. Can the worship team come please? That song, he, he took the fall. He took the fall. Our Father, shall we say together, Our Father, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Because I have come under your name, I am a precious treasure. I belong to you. I have a new definition of holiness. All my organs belong to you. My eyes belong to you. My ears belong to you. Every organ in my body is yours. So it is it's, so it's holy. Holy means belongs to him. Our body is the temple of God. We belong to him. Jesus Christ on the cross purchased us with his own life. One more time. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, which means he's willing to lead us away from temptations. Deliver us from the evil one. There is an evil one. There is an author of evil. You think you can fight him alone with your determination? Can you? We can't. So we have a savior. And we have received his name. We have believed his name. What is his name? Lord Jesus Christ. On the day he was born, angels came from heaven and told the shepherds, Unto you is born this day in the city of David a savior. Will you say a savior? Christ the Lord. When we believe his name, we believe his name Jesus. That means God saves. We, uh, we acknowledge I have sin in my life. I can't save myself. I acknowledge that sin put Jesus to death. My sin was so capital. My sin was so radical that death was the just deserts. Jesus took it. I had no way to come out of my sin. That's what, we, that's what we say when we name the name of Jesus. And we say, Jesus, forgive me. Shall we say together, Jesus, forgive me. Why did we accept a savior? Because I couldn't save myself. And because I, I agreed with God, that rebellion of rejecting God was high treason in every nation. Treason. Deserves capital punishment. For earthly terrains and sovereignties. How much more when we have rebelled against God. That's why he died. When we say Jesus. I believe in your name. I receive your name. I believe in your name. I take your name and your cover for myself. You stand between the stones and my sin. That's why I say Jesus. Will you say Jesus? He's Christ. Not only he saves, he keeps us saved. And he has the power to keep us saved. Not only is he willing to be the savior, he has power to be the savior. 
where he went into death and took death captive and he arose out of death, overcoming sin, disease and death. Proof of the pudding is not in the recipe but in the eating. How can you know this? Reading the Bible is a recipe. It's a good recipe. Very readable recipe. But you have to make the cake and eat it. Receive Christ, Jesus Christ into your heart. He is not only Jesus Christ, he is Lord Jesus Christ. Will you say this prayer with me? Lord Jesus, be the Lord of my needs. Which means Lord Jesus, I bring all my needs under your Lordship. You are well able to provide all my needs according to your riches in glory already deposited in the bank of heaven. Another prayer. Lord Jesus, take, be the Lord of all my desires. Are you sure? Are you sure of the second prayer? What was the first prayer? Lord Jesus, be the Lord of all my needs. What's the second prayer? Lord Jesus, be the Lord of all my desires. Be the Lord of all my ambitions. Lord Jesus, be the Lord of all my expectations. Desires, ambitions, expectations. Are you ready to say that prayer? You'll have to consider, isn't it? You might have to take time. Because you are saying, you are the ruler of my day, you are the ruler of my night, you are the ruler of all my high ambition. Have you said that? Are you going to say that? Or are you allowing your desires to so high, wherever it goes, wherever it pleases, I follow my desires. My desires are the God of my life. My expectations are very high from everybody. I owe nothing to nobody. I will you say, you are the Lord of my desires. You are the Lord of my ambition. You are the Lord of my life. You are the Lord of my expectations. I surrender. To those who receive his name and believe his name, to them he gave the authority, the privilege to become the children of God. And his name is Lord Jesus Christ. And when we say that name over anybody, pauper, prince, or president, it has the same power. Name of Jesus. We might say it over a very foolish man or a professor of university. They both need the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ. When I went to the faculty a second time to be, be, the, be, be head of department of pharmacology, Professor Carl Fonseca said, Lalit, it's, it's, I have been praying all these years that you will give half of your time to God and half of your time to man. My prayer is answered, he said, of course, with, with, with his tongue on his cheek. And then he said, now, since you are in the same faculty, come and see me once a week. I will try to make you a dialectical materialist. You try to make me a Christian. I think about, I think he has changed a little. But for us who believe, he's the Lord Jesus Christ. Yesterday we learned, God knows to deal with the Pharaoh. He will work on the systems till they submit to him. The high and mighty in the world, every mountain will quake. And the oceans will get into calamity. That's what's happening. 
Psalm 46 says, so many other scriptures says. But when it comes to his people, he has to ask them, will you give your desire to me? Will you give your will to me? Will you give your ambition to me? Will you give your expectation to me? What is your answer? What is your answer? Do you think you in your strength can fulfill your expectation better than what your father in heaven can do? You have said, I will get there. I'm taking this course. This is what I have planned for myself. You see where you are going. You have pitched your vision. How are you getting there? With your father or without your father? My plea to you is, if you say, truly, truly, honestly, Lord, be the Lord of my desire. Lord, be the Lord of my delights. Lord, be the Lord of my expectation. Let's rise to our feet. If you have never received the Lord Jesus Christ into your heart, tonight is the night. Come to him. Come to him. As we are singing this song, please come forward. If you have known him for some time and you feel 